Excuse me, Dan, but you should always turn space heaters off when you go to bed or leave the room. Good job, Dan. You should always keep space heaters at least three feet from anything that can burn. Like curtains, newspapers, and even you. Good job, Dan. Dan, did you have your chimney inspected this year? Your chimney and heating system should be cleaned and inspected every year. Good job, Dan. Life isn't a cartoon. Heating is a major cause of home fires. Don't be a doofus. Learn more about preventing home fires at NFPA.org. Hi, I'm Mari Grigalunas, the Public Information Officer at the Village of Villa Park. And I'm here on Village View today with my guest, Fire Chief Ron Rakosnik. Thank you for being here, Chief. Thank you, Mari. Glad to be here. And today we're going to talk about space heaters. What are some of the most important things people need to remember when they're using space heaters in this chilly weather? Just keep in mind, space heaters, just like it says, uh, they need space. Typically, a space heater needs about three feet uh, clearance around it on all sides, uh, not to be uh, in close proximity to combustible materials such as uh, furniture, uh, drapes, newspapers, that type of thing. Anything that might burn, uh, we okay. need to keep three feet away or else or, or move it away. All right. And um, um, when you have them plugged in, what are some things to remember? Um, you're not supposed to use extension cords, right? Well, you know, extension cords uh, should never be used uh, if you can. In some cases, they have to be used because of distance. But we recommend you not use them. Plug them directly into an outlet. However, if you have to use an extension cord, uh, make sure it's a proper extension cord. We found fires uh, in my career that uh, were plugged into uh, a lower caliber wire, um, such as one you might use for a lamp. When space heaters turn on, they draw a lot of electricity, a lot of power, uh, and if the extension cord can't carry that amount of power, normally they'll heat up. So you may have uh, uh, a space heater turned on, and then you'll have an a electrical cord, extension cord, um, that can't carry the voltage, so it heats up and eventually will catch the carpeting on fire, uh -huh. could catch the drapes on fire, catch the floor on fire. So, by all means, if you don't have to use an extension cord, please don't use an extension cord. Good to know. And what about, um, there's some space heaters that aren't electrically powered, right? Yeah, there's, uh, they have uh, uh, fuel burning space heaters. Uh, we, we ask you to use a proper fuel. I've seen in my career, typically a space heater, fuel space heater uses kerosene. Uh, sometimes people run out of kerosene, so they'll put gasoline into uh -huh. the space heater, and then within a matter of a couple of minutes, um, you'll have a bad fire, possibly an explosion due to the gasoline. We also recommend that if you are using kerosene and you run out of kerosene in your space heater, to not fill your space heater after it's been used right away. Let it cool down in case you do spill. Uh, you don't want to spill kerosene on a hot uh, space right. heater and yeah. catch a fire that way. So um, again, probably the biggest things are space heaters need space. Um, use a proper fuel if you have a fuel um, space heater, and then uh, try not to use extension cords whenever possible. And we don't want to leave them unattended, right? And then when you go to bed or you leave the room for an extended period of time, uh, please turn it off. Uh, real quick, back to the uh, proper fuel or using a proper fuel yeah. kerosene heater. Make sure if you do use one of those, it's properly uh, ventilated. Uh, oh, the room okay. is ventilated properly because uh, you build you could build up uh, carbon monoxide in those rooms as well. Oh, all right. Um, and then a couple statistics that I have, 32% uh, of home fires involve space heaters. This was a 9, uh, 20, 000, 2011 statistic. And of those fires, 79% uh, uh, involved a fatal a fatality in those fires. Oh, wow. So uh, it seems that when people are using space heaters, uh, bigger potential for uh, a fatality, something should happen. Well, thank you for taking the time to go over all those important tips and reminders, and hopefully everyone uses their uh, space heaters responsibly this winter. Well, thanks for having me.